Are you curious about how Luminar AI can help you make better photos? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a simple start to finish workflow on how to use Luminar AI to make better landscape photos. My name's David Johnson, and on this channel, I help you take better landscape photos and edit landscape better photos too. Let's jump right into Luminar. So from the beginning, what I try to do is use the tools that are available to me, and that's gonna be the presets first off. I think one of the best things you can do is set yourself up for success right off the bat. You can either start editing this right away, or you can use one of these presets to help you. Since I'm dealing with a landscape, I'm gonna to go to the Easy Landscapes collection, and actually I'm gonna scroll down here to Snowfall, because what I wanna do with this photo is create kind of like a more ominous photo because I have a lot of dark tones, I have a lot of highlights going into, and I think Snowfall helped me do that. So the main takeaway here, you have long exposure, sunset, clean light, all those would be my go-to here. Match whatever presets mood you want with your photo, not the light to the photo. I think that's a huge takeaway. So since I have a preset selected here, I'm just gonna go to edit. And the main thing about presets to know too is that this is a springboard. This is to help you start right away and get started on the right foot down the editing process. So once we have that preset in, we come in here into the editing process. And since I want to crop this a little bit, we can use Crop AI to help us figure out the best crop that we want in this. So I can hit Composition AI and it's gonna try to find the best composition for me in this photo. Sometimes it gets it a little bit off, so in this case it did. It got the main idea and what I wanted to do with this because I do want to crop it a little more into the center, but I wanna pull this out a little bit more and have that main middle peak right in the center of the frame, somewhere like that to keep the right side and the left side basically on the same level of horizon to create a lot of balance in this photo. So since I'm done with that, I'm gonna hit apply. And that's another great thing about these AI tools is they make suggestions that you can then go back and edit to get right and get your landscape photos exactly how you want them to be. Next, I'm gonna to go to AI Enhance and all the tools are highlighted with that little AI that means artificial intelligence. I'm just gonna pull my AI accent slider up slightly about at about 24. What AI Accent does is it's working with multiple different tools at once. So you're dealing with highlights, you're pulling those up, shadows, you're dropping those, and you're creating more contrast into the overall photo. Three different sliders that you're working with all at once here. So once that's done, I'm just gonna go to the Sky Enhancer. You can enhance that as much as you want. I'd like to play up this mist and dust that's been kicked up in the background here, so I'll play that up a little bit. If you are wanting to replace your sky, now in this photo I'm not wanting to, but just to show you, you can go to sky selection and pick any of those and it'll use AI to get that in. If it gets it wrong, you can hit masking and mask that out with the paintbrush. So I'm gonna drop that down. Next I'm gonna go to structure AI, and structure AI is a lot like clarity in Lightroom. So when you're dealing with clarity, you're dealing with uh, sharpness, more contrast, and you're working with that in the photo. So decide off the bat how you want to use that and how much you want to apply into your frame. Bring that up to about 33, that's good. And you can also boost that effect. I like to lay off the boost some though because the more you pull it in, the more fake the photo looks. I think the Structure AI does a really good job of that, so I'm just gonna drop the boost down some. And I just wanna say right now, I'm not sponsored by Luminar to make this. I just think these are great tools to help you with your photography. If you don't have Luminar yet, you can find that link to Luminar in the pinned comment. I'll put one in the video description as well, and there's a coupon code for you to use too. And if you're new to this channel or this video is bringing a lot of value, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're not already to continue improving your photography. Next, I'm gonna to go to Relight. And these are then the creative tools, which the creative tools are those tools that you know you, you've got a great photo already. It's that 1% boost to take the photos to good to great. So I'm gonna to go to Relight, and what this does is it allows me to brighten my photo either near or far away from the frame. So if I want the foreground to be brighter or darker, I can work with this tool to do that, background too. 
If I go to brightness near, I can increase that to 100 to show you what it's doing. Or if I want that to be darker, I can just drop that down. Since I want this to be really dark and have that ominous look, I'm gonna drop that brightness near all the way down. Brightness far, you can increase that and do the same thing as well. I am probably going to drop that a little bit as well, something like minus seven. Now the depth, you can also work with that and have a lot of depth going into your frame. And this tool just says, hey, I want that depth to be closer. Now we're dealing with closer when I drop it down or if I move it to the right, now that depth is further into the frame. I'm gonna move this pretty close to the front of the frame and drop that down. So I'm gonna to go to atmosphere as well and I'm going to choose an atmosphere for haze. Now, since it was windy in the sand dunes and there was a lot of hazy sand swirling around, I'm gonna use and match that adjustment here with haze, and I'm just gonna increase that ever so slightly to bring up the haziness in this photo. Now, here's a quick pro tip for you. I'm gonna to go to masking here because I only want this effect in the sky. I don't want it to affect the sand dunes that are close to the frame. So I can go to masking and click brush. And what I'm going to do is just brush that effect only into the sky and it's gonna show me where I'm brushing that in. That's a pro tip for you here so that you pinpoint where these edits go and maximize AI and Luminar for you. In just a second, I'm gonna show you how you can maximize these effects by making local adjustments in just small places. But first, I wanna ask you the question of the day. Are you using artificial intelligence for your editing already? Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know what you think about using those for your photography. Let's jump to those local adjustments. So what I'm gonna do now, since this one area of my photo has been bothering me the entire time. I want this sand dune and this one right here where it's in the shadows to be as dark as possible to match all the other ones. What am I gonna do here? Well, all I'm going to do is go to develop and I'm going to drop my exposure to a point that I think is where I want it to be, about minus 1.15. And then I'm gonna to go to that masking feature again, use my brush, and I'm just going to brush that effect in right where I want it to be to kind of match. Now, you can adjust this after you've painted in, like now that I've painted in, it's a little bit too dark, and you can adjust that. I'm just gonna make a smaller brush size here and paint that same effect into that dune and maybe even back there. And I'm just pinpointing where I want these to be. So that's about where I want it to be. I'm gonna go back to my adjustments and just increase that a little bit. I just want that dark enough to where you can still see a lot of the details. This is a huge tip in Luminar if you want specific areas adjusted, not everything. Now let's land the plane here with these professional options. These are not AI options, but there's some effects that are gonna help you take your photos to the next level in Luminar. So I'm gonna go to Dodge and Burn, and I'm gonna go to Lighten, and I'm gonna lighten the areas that are on top of the sand dunes, those little light highlights. So I'm going to have my brush size really, really small, and I'm going to lighten those areas. So I'm just gonna come in here and paint right on those areas. And you'll see it's extremely bright. I'll show you how to drop that in just a second, but I'm just going to paint those to make those really, really stand out. This section right here, and then this main sand ridge that comes right across the front of the frame. So I think that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna show you how to drop that effect down. Now I do want them brighter, but not as bright as they are. So I'm gonna go back up to the amount slider in Dodge and Burn, and I'm just gonna drop that until it's at a point where I really like, somewhere kind of like that. And there you go, here's our finished photo. And if you wanna learn more about how Luminar can help you improve your photos, click or tap the card showing up on your screen right here. Thanks so much for watching and happy editing.